France, Ewan Ouzadier and Mathieu Valois. Yeah, last year the winner came from France, Martin Ferrier. But we will see him in the senior elimination final tonight. So Ten de Wit from the Netherlands in start position four. Is it important to be in the first line at the start at this distance? Or does it matter? Is it important to be in the first line or does Jordi van Warkem is there on the inside in the second or third line? Does he have a problem already or does he have time to go in the front and take the points? No, it doesn't have to be a problem. We see now Marika Tum on the screen. She took another medal yesterday in the points race, the bronze medal. We will see her later tonight in the elimination race. With her teammates Larissa Geyser. So you see the judges talking to the skaters, explaining how the race will be. And I think they say it's 29 laps. We hear the first bell and then we have points every lap. Two points for the winner and one point for the second guy. And on the finish, we have three, two, and one point. The son of their off, and who's in the lead now? It's the guy from China, it's Tao Chen. Tao Chen won the heat this morning. He was in a late breakaway and he took a lot of points. He looks strong. We will see in the final how far he can get. He's all by himself. It's yeah. not easy. But we also see the guy from Colombia and South Korea by themselves. Yeah, we see also in the junior ladies Fang from China who won her heat. But she was not that strong in the final. So again, like in the ladies race, there is a lot of fighting in the first few left because the pace is so slow. And there's a crest. It's a guy from Italy. It's number, number 58, Mar Matteo Barison. Can he come back? Maybe he can come back because the pace is not that high. But when they come to the finish line, they will hear the first bell. So the pace will be faster and faster till the first sprint. We see the crash again. Oh, you saw the Belgian guy. He jumped over the Italian guy. And he's back. The Italian skater is back. But this costs a lot of energy, I think. Yeah, definitely. We see now on the outside an attack by Mexico. With number 124, Santiago Lopez Escareño. Ooh, this is a really nice move. He will get the two points and probably even a few more points because he has a big gap. And we see when you see the guy from South Korea, he's skating like so easy. Yeah, and the guy from Mexico will take down another two points at the finishing time. And it is important not to uh, got eliminated. So if you are eliminated in the race, if you got do uh, are doubled by the peloton, you have to leave the race and you lose all your points. So don't waste all your energy in this breakaway because if the peloton com comes back and you cannot follow, you probably have to leave the race and it's for nothing. Yeah, we see Lopez Escarreño taking two other points in front of Ivani. He has a real big gap, a real big gap. And there is a guy from Ecuador following him. Also a guy from Chile. Who will chase this down? I don't know, I think the Dutch guys have to do it. I think the Dutch guys are the favorite for this race, but they're waiting. And they are with two. We saw the guy from Ecuador, Sarmiento Moscoso, taking one point. And if you decide not to chase, then don't do it, and this is what the Dutch side do, do good. I hope someone else will try to chase down this break. You are now ready to see it. The guy from Mexico cannot follow the two leaders. No, we see Sarmiento Moscoso from Ecuador with two points, and Vidal Said from Chile with one point. So they almost have 100 meters in front of the peloton. Oh, this is a really big gap, and yeah. I think we already know who will become world champion because no, one of these two skaters will get a lot of points. 
Yeah, but they are. Ju we just have 24 laps to go, and they even can get left. It's not done yet. We saw Fidel Said taking the two points. No, it's a big gap. It's a big gap, and it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger every lap. We see now Brecht Lippens in front of the peloton, but the guys in front are taking the points again. Two points for um, Sarmiento Moscoso and one point for Vidal. They have six and four points now, but now we see the pace is getting higher in the peloton. Yeah, but still over 100 meters up in front with three skaters now because the guy from the United States came back and he will take two points now. This is better for the Dutch guys as the points are now shared by three persons. It was Adrian Workman from USA who took the two points in front of Sarmiento Moscoso. Yeah, and in the front of the peloton we see the skater from Colombia, but he's alone, so he will not do the work. And then the guys from Italy, no, the guys from Belgium are in the lead now, but the gap is so big. Now we saw the guy from Ecuador, Sarmiento Moscoso, took in two points. He's leading now with nine points. Yeah, already nine points. Nine points is a lot of points at this moment of the race with 20 laps to go. Yeah, we saw the girls race uh, winning with 13 points. They are working really good together. It's two points for Workman. So he got five points now. Moscoso, one point. He got ten points now. Yeah, and Jason Suttles, who will try to make a jump and go to the first skaters. He is in the front of the peloton now, going really fast, but he stopped skating. He stops skating now, so the pace will slow down. And the first guys will take the points again. Yeah, it's again Sarmiento Moscoso from Ecuador in front of the guy Fidel from Chile. The guy from Mexico is still in second position. Yeah, and the guy from Mexico is back in the peloton. He's in the back now, so he must follow the peloton to keep his points. And he struggles to follow the rest of the skaters. Yeah, and Adrian Workman took two points now. Sarmiento Moscoso, one point. He's leading now with 13 points. In front of Workman with seven points. What are the Dutch guys doing? They are not working together. Yeah, we saw Jordi van Workman in the front of the peloton trying to make a fast pace but no one will work no one will help the Dutch guys so as I said Lisana I think this is gonna be Sarmiento or the guy from Chile who will become world champion on this day. No no the guy from Chile just have five points so far workman nine points and the guy from Ecuador 14 points Sarmiento Moscoso that will be a big surprise a really big surprise if he can get a few more points, it's almost impossible to pass them, even when the skaters from the peloton come back. Yeah, 15 points for Sarmiento Moscoso now, and 11 for Adrian Workman, USA. Yeah, but the gap is not that big anymore. I think it's only 15 meters, maybe 40. So I think they will come back, but it will not be for the world title anymore in the peloton, because these skaters probably have too many points already. Yeah, only if they got left. It's Mos Ooh, it's a Moscoso, Sarmiento Moscoso again in front of Vidal, who has six points now. Leader of this race, 17 points, Sarmiento Moscoso from Ecuador. Yeah, so there's still a small gap with one acceleration in the peloton, and they are back on the first guys. Now and there is Jordi van Warkum on the outside. Jordi van Warkum will try to close the gap in his own. Can he do it? Yeah, but everybody is pretty fresh on the back of the peloton because they didn't have to do a lot of work. We see Workman now with 13 points. He's trying again. 
Yeah, so Workman will take two other points, but it's not enough to take over the lead. Oh, and a guy from Ecuador got a push by his teammates. So he is back in the peloton. That's his only job. The guy from Ecuador should only carry about his teammates. But now we saw the points going to Adrian Workman, 15 points, and Jordi from Workman took his first points. Yeah, so Jordi from Workman is in the lead. Can he take two points now? But it's a guy from South Korea who's in the lead. Ooh, and they're grabbing. None of them get points now. We see Suttles and the guy from Colombia with the points. Yeah, and now for the first time in the race, Tain De Witt is in a good position to get a few points. We think he's the guy for the Netherlands now, but it's only 11 laps to go. With Sarmiento with 18 points. No one can get that much many points. So I think if he manages to stay in the pack, he will become world champion. Yeah, he is in the pack. And we see Iwan Fusaje from France taking his first two points in front of Lenis Angarita from uh, Colombia. So I don't see the skater from Mexico anymore in this group. So he's probably dropped and that means he will be left soon or maybe he already is. So he will lose all his points. He's still in fourth in third position. Iwan Fusaje took two points and Lenis Angarita took one point from Colombia. So only nine laps to go till the finish. It's Fusaje again who's in the lead. And here we see the guy from Mexico who's pushing to come back, but he will be eliminated soon. Yeah, it's again Fusa J who's taking, who's taking down two points. And the one point went to Colombia again. Yeah. And there goes the guy from China. He won his heat, but he doesn't have points yet. So he will try to take his first points. What are the Dutch guys doing? They are seem so easy in the peloton. But if they want to get a medal, they should go for points soon. Well, there is still a possibility they get third. I think the first two positions are gone because they have a lot of points. Samiente and Workman have 18 and 15 points. Well, we saw the points going to Chen and Wu. First points for them. Chen, uh, we got an official now, the guy from... Ooh, close call. Both of the guys are from Chinese Taipei. But Wu took the first points to Chang and one point to Wu. And where's Tony Witt waiting for? He's still in the pack. If he's the leading man, he has to go. It's only six laps to go. So we see Yardi van Warkham trying to get a few more points. And he will be... Ah, Yardi van Warkham is going. So there is Jordi van Walken, the strong guy from the Netherlands. He took down the world title on the elimination race yesterday. And can he take another two points? And he will not stop. Jordi van Walken is the guy. If he has a gap, try to catch him. Because he's really strong. Yeah, he got five points now. Zamora took one point. Is his teammate from Ecuador still? In this peloton, yes, he is. Do you think the guy from Ecuador have, has to stay with his teammate? He well, should, have, should have done that, right? Because I think maybe. the guy from Ecuador is good enough to stay there by himself. And we see Jordi with two points. He gets seven points now. Leinis took one point, and I think Jordi is in third position now. So with the board on three, Jordi van Warkem is going strong, but the peloton is coming back. There is the Italian guy, but he stopped skating, so Jordi maybe takes two points more, two more points. And he really needs them, as Lane is uh, from Colombia also has five points, so he's close. Six points for the Colombian guy now, nine for Jordi, and the crowd is going crazy. Yeah, and Jason Suttles is there. He's in third position now. He will try to close the gap and take a few points. 
Jordi van Wachtum looks strong, but there is Jason Sittles. And Jordi van Wachtum has to follow Jason if he wants to go on a podium. Ooh. And that's really good by Turn. Turn should lead now for Jordi. But is this allowed? Is it allowed to push your teammate? I don't know, but eight guys from Ecuador were doing it too, so... Yeah, we have to see what the judges will say. Turn is going to the front now and will try to lead out one or two sprints for Jordi. So they go to the bell now. When they cross the finish line, it's only one lap to go. Tensha took away points for from the Belgian guy and the Colombian guy. If Lainez is winning this sprint... So there goes Stone. He should try to win this sprint and Jordi will get on the podium. What does Stone do? Jordi got 10 points, Settles got 6 points. So we can unofficially say that Jordi from Warcom is taking another medal. He is taking the bronze medal. So and he still has a strong finish. There is Jason Settles. He will become first on the line. But there is Jordi from Warcom. Jordi from Warcom in third. But the surprise of the day. Sarmiento Moskosko from Ecuador is world champion in and this And also race. USA in second position with Adrian Workman. Yeah, what a big surprise. Workman, he was strong in the heat, but I didn't think he could do it in the final. But there he is in the second place with 15 points. And Jordi came even close to silver. Yeah, three points away. That's not really close. I mean, yesterday we saw a difference of one point. So if you Jordi van Warkum and if you have a strong teammate, should they have chased the breakaway? Because you see, I think Jordi was the strongest in the race of the top favorites. And he came close, but not close enough. I don't know if he was the strongest, but yeah, we saw a great breakaway and one of the Dutch guys shouldn't be in there.